This surveillance video from the 7-Eleven on West Little Creek Road shows a group of men confronting 24-year-old Robert Fick. The confrontation turning physical when the group of men, including 19-year-old Jamal Harvey and 22-year-old Keon Johnson, pushed Vic into a wall, punching him several times. One man even throwing a case of Gatorade at Vic's head. Vic then pulls out a gun from his waistband, firing several shots and chases the men out of the store, the men running as fast as they can to get away. Vic shoots three of the men, killing two of them, 19-year-old Jamal Harvey and 22-year-old Keon Johnson. Vic pleaded guilty to voluntary manslaughter and was sentenced to 12 years and nine months. Something Norfolk Commonwealth's attorney, Ramin Fada, he says he's pleased with his office's handling of the case. I am very proud of the work that my prosecutors did on that case. This was a very serious case. It was gun violence and uh, shooting in broad daylight at a convenience store. Vic's attorney, James Roccoletti, sent a statement to us saying in part, quote, he went to the gas station to buy some gas and got assaulted by a group of men. He realized he acted excessively. He believed he was acting in self-defense. It did not rise to the level of justified homicide in the eyes of the law. Vic expressed remorse towards the two families. Shooting somebody running away the, is pretty much never going to be self-defense. If you're going to use deadly force to protect yourself or somebody else, a reasonable person in your position has to think that you're about to experience deadly force yourself. I spoke to one of the victim's family members, Jamal Harvey. Harvey's family believes that the sentence Vic was given was a slap on the wrist. As for Norfolk Commonwealth's attorney's office, thought he says his office is focused on prosecuting violent offenders. I'm Leandra Head, News 3.